Let's get down to business now in your morning rush. In the news from the State House, the State Senate has given initial approval to the bill we've been telling you about preventing abortions when a fetal heartbeat is detected. Their proposal likely faces a final vote in the Senate today before being sent to the House. Fetal heartbeats are usually detected around the eighth week of pregnancy and before most women know they're pregnant. The bill does now have exceptions for pregnancies that are caused by rape or incest and when the mother's life is in danger. The House did pass a similar bill previously and Governor Henry McMaster has said he will sign it immediately if it makes it to his death as he is a pro-life supporter. And President Biden says everything is on the table when it comes to different ways to speed up production and distribution of the COVID-19 vaccine, especially now that the threat of the virus variants are spreading across the country. Experts say the only way to stop another surge in infections is to vaccinate enough Americans that it will stop this virus's ability to mutate. To protect against the new variants, the CDC now is asking all Americans to spend less time at the grocery store and get this, they're saying, you should wear two masks when you go out. The CDC is always also looking into mandating that all airline passengers get tested and show a negative COVID test before they get on board a plane. And with the vaccine becoming more available across the country and around South Carolina, Prisma Health is holding a town hall to answer all of your vaccine questions. The event is going to take place later today. It's from noon until one. They'll have a panel of experts there to talk about the vaccine. You can join through Prisma's Facebook page or their YouTube channel. And if you want to take part in the town hall, we also have this information at WLTX.com or on our app. If you plan on getting the COVID vaccine or you already have gotten vaccinated, listen up because just because you've gotten your vaccination, you shouldn't throw away your coronavirus safety guidelines. Doctors say it's still very important to stay vigilant, especially when you get your first dose and you are waiting for the second because get this, they say the efficacy is only 50% after your first dose. So wash your hands, wear your mask and avoid crowds. If you're still out and about in the community, doctors say it's important to get tested regularly. Even though the vaccine is 95% effective, you still could be a carrier of the virus and not even know it. And we are working with experts to answer all of your vaccine questions on our website. We have all of our vaccine coverage located on one page. It's updated daily with the latest information and we've made it easy to find. Text the word vaccine, text that to 803-776-9508 and we will text you back a link to all of our COVID-19 coverage.